It's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's asking me a question via email. When they use, they've got an eight sided polygon, 18 sided, I mean. When they grab the shape tool, they can move the node over there and it's like snapping to things. And they said it's, that was what was bugging them. They can't get too close. Evidently, they're trying to make a saw blade turn into a curve and it just, one, it doesn't start moving right away. So you've got snap to on, snap to object. And in this case, you don't want it. So go to view, snap to, and turn snap to object off. Now, when you grab the shape tool, it doesn't snap to it. Hence the, hence the uh, name. So we're going to make a saw blade real quick. We're going to just grab a couple of nodes right quick and turn them into a curve. And then you can kind of see how it automatically starts moving our line where a while ago we were having the trouble with it moving the line. And um, there's kind of a saw blade. I'm not very proud of that. And just real quick, I'll just add this kind of fun, give you a little bit of insight, a little bit more. Something you could do if you're making a saw blade, you could put carbide tips on the end. Re remove that line. So I use that line just to stop the, the smart field from going too far. And remember that we have a 18-sided polygon. So we're going to go to range, transformation, rotation. And we're going to make, we're going to, Double click on it and move our rotation to the center. A lot of times Corel does that. It doesn't look like it's a center, but it is. We have an 18-sided item, so we need 17 copies because we've already got one. And we're going to rotate it 20 degrees because 18 divided by 360 is 20. I was going to say 36 divided by 18 is 2. Same thing. And there you go. You've got a saw tip and then of course you would always want to hold down your control button and make it a circle or an ellipse and put it in the center for the arbor of the saw blade and there's a lot i've, I've made a couple of videos on blades and that's what really the not what the video is about as far as it is the shape tool snapping to an item anyway hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching